Good day viewers. Today we want to talk about the most subject that uh, people have asked me to talk about Rohani. Because people don't know what it means by raw honey, organic honey, processed honey, and why the differences. So today I'm here to tell you much about the raw honey. Raw honey contains straight from the beehive and is called a superfood sweetener and gathered by one of the most profound creatures on planet and earth that is our honeybee the hard-working bee pure honey is unheated natural sugars that is pure honey that is, we will call raw honey that still retains all the nutrients enzymes and medicinal compounds that honey is known for honey in this state is a living food in antibacterial antifungal antiviral properties which has been used throughout the ages to reduce inflammation boost immune system and aid digestive functions raw honey can also be filtered or unfiltered displaying a number of constituencies ranging from poor thick syrup to dense crystallized paste. I'll also talk about crystallized paste because honey, like the one you're seeing in the bottle in the middle, is crystallized. Does not mean it's fake. It's just good honey, only that it's crystallized depending on the temperatures and where it has been gotten from. Non filtered honey is by far most medicinal honey available containing fragments of nutrition constituents like the propolis bee pollen some four small flakes of honeycombs here and there as well as different enzymes beneficial to human health what are the possible health benefits of raw honey it includes Relieving cough, wound healing, treating di diarrhea, and many more. Honey provides a range of health benefits because it has helpful bee pollen, bee pollen, and plenty of antioxidants. Raw honey does not go pasteurization as the pure honey, the one which is found in supermarkets. The regular honey has been treated and more or less it has killed the yeast cells and then it affects the taste. They do that to increase the shelf life and also to, to, look, to make it look more transparent and attractive. So that is what you find mostly in the shelves at the supermarket, that is regular honey. When it is pasteurized, it affects the number of nutrition in the honey. Well, uh, historically, honey has been used for over 8,000 years. During ancient times, raw honey was used for healing wounds. Nowadays, most people use pasteurized honey. Now, honey has the following healthful properties. Antibacterial action, wound healing effects, dietary antioxidants, anti-inflammatory effects. Now, we'll go straight away to the anti-inflammatory effects and the antioxidants so that now we see the, the real benefits of raw honey. Now, as an oxidant effect, it includes phytochemicals, flavonoids, and ascorbic acids. Antioxidants reduce oxidative stress in the body by mopping up free radicals. You know, free radicals are the ones which actually cause a range of chronic diseases and may also cause some cancers. By eating antioxidant-rich diet, which honey is one of it, you could easily reduce the risk of chronic diseases. Honey and its nutrition benefits. Honey is nutritious, has a specific nutrients which can be 
added to the diet. Because of the chemical compositions of the raw honey, which varies from different countries and environments, and also the type of flowers gathered for the nectar. <coughs> Regardless of the factors, I'm taking a syrup honey for the cough. Honey contains oxynotals such as amino acids and vitamins. Imagine one tablespoon of 21 gram of raw honey and one gram of sugar. These values may vary between browns and batches. But when we come to vitamins and minerals, natural honey contains niacin, riboflavin, panoteic acid, calcium, magnesium, manganese, potassium, phosphorus, and zinc. Natural honey contains sugars. <clears throat> A little more than half of the sugar in the honey is fructose. From research, Fructose is linked to various health problems. However, even in the fructose content, honey may be a healthy option than the ordinary table sugar. Research suggests that honey offers protective against diabetes, and some types of honey also improve cholesterol levels. Uh, have you ever thought about people who have diabetes who are on a sugar? to see diets, may choose to eat honey in moderation to avoid the clinical changing in the blood sugar levels, that is the sugar spike. However, at this current juncture, let's talk about the glycemic index, the GI. Pure honey contains glycemic index of 58, meaning it has a medium effect on blood sugar levels. But our raw honey, the topic of today, only contains 35 to 48. What about the table sugar? Table sugar contains 58 to 65. Now, our raw honey is at a safe zone. Let's go back to an arterial action. Antibacterial action and antimicrobial agents derived from honey contains hydrogen peroxide and glucose oxidase and has a low pH, which means it kills harmful bacteria and fungi. Because of this unique composition, it does not help yeast or bacteria to grow. The antibacterial action also helps to clean the wounds. Therefore, it also kills common pathogens, including E. coli, a bacteria that is found in food poisoning and wood infections, Stachophilus aureus or S. aureus, a microbe that causes skin infection, Helobacteria pylori or H. pylori in most languages, a bacteria that causes stomach ulcers and chronic gastritis. Therefore, honey will help you in that, the raw honey. Wood healing. As you've seen that uh, it helps in the skin it, it, it infections and it has been used since time immemorial because of its antibacterial, anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties. Evidence also suggests that honey has antiviral and antifungal properties. Honey is acidic which help release oxygen from wound and promote healing. Applying raw honey directly to minor cuts and burns over the wound will help heal that and then you can cover with a bandage over the wound. Now, let's come to relieving coughs. Several studies have suggested that honey is more effective than some of the over-the-counter OTC cough medicines. Many cough medicines nowadays are no longer safe for young children to take. So honey becomes a better alternative for children of over one year of age. Why one year? It has also been known that 
children under one honey pure honey is not good for their stomach functioning and also now when the children are over one year milk is a one type of honey mixture relieved can be also be done to the children so you can take a teaspoon of raw honey and even mix with other liquids water and then drink it treating diarrhea raw honey has a soothing effect on digestion helping with the symptoms of diarrhea and you remember we talked of acute gastroenteritis which is found when received the honey with an oral radiation solution it reduces the rehydration somebody recovers better from dehydration when you use honey and in children they normally have fewer bowel movement and recover faster from the illness when they use honey if you want to treat mild diarrhea can you take a spoonful of raw honey mix with a drink probably water and then it will reduce the diarrhea but also avoid taking too much honey because excess sugar can also make diarrhea worse honey also protects the brain evidence suggests that honey may have antioxidant and inflammatory effect powers as we had talked about it before then it protects the brain from damage so and also as a laxative it also makes you think better risks as long as anybody is not allergic to bee pollen raw honey is generally safe to use Uh, we talked of the idea of the infants under age of one. Uh, according to the Center for Disease Control and Protection, that is the CDC, an American organization, says that honey to infants under age of one can cause risk of infant brutalism. So it is good to apply honey from the age of one upwards how do you choose the raw honey raw honey will also have the label raw and if it is not put raw then let's just know that that honey has been pasteurized the label may also describe the type of flower that bees planted to make the honey so, but that also depends from country to country, region to region, and the, the communities of which the honey is being bought from. Many past types of pasteurized honey have labels read pure honey. Now, uh, you can get uh, organic honey, which may be raw. It uh, depends on the, the stores near your area. Some processed honey products contain high fructose, corn syrup, or other additives. So, choose your honey wisely. Get from whatever stores near you and do your homework. I talked of some honey crystallizing, raw honey. Some honey raw may crystallize after a few months of storage. This means that the honey gets a grainy or sugar-like texture. Crystallized honey is safe to eat and has the same taste. Remember, it is not pasteurized, so it has the same taste. What you can do, if it's in a glass, you can use the gentle heating technique. Boil a pot of water and remove it from the heat. Place the container honey in the hot water. Do not allow the water treat the top container to avoid contaminating it. Remove the container of the honey after a few minutes. If it is solid or crystallized, repeat the process. 
And again, word of caution, do not microwave raw honey or put it directly in boiling water or a hot stove top. This may destroy nutrients of which you are talking about pasteurization. So just boil it in hot water, place it the glass jar in the hot water. Raw honey may contain nutrients that regular honey does not. That is on our summary. Raw honey could potentially offer more and more powerful health benefits than pure honey. Raw honey again may contain extra elements such as the bee pollen, bee propolis, which also offer additional antioxidants and active acetyl properties, which you really need. Now, the studies on healing properties and research that raw honey may be more healthful, sweeter than sugar. So anytime raw honey is good for you, Check it out from your local stores and your local manufacturers. Don't forget, we are here. We can give you raw honey. We can ship it to any part of the world. And welcome to listen. Please, thanks for listening up to this time. Kindly subscribe, share, like, comment. And looking forward for you to purchase our raw honey. Our numbers for WhatsApp are plus two five four seven two two five seven one three double two. Our cha channels, social media, even Instagram is Mugala Naturals, YouTube Mugala Naturals, Facebook Mugala Naturals, Twitter, formerly now X Mugala Naturals. Threads, Mugala Naturals, on Twitter, Mugala Naturals. We are looking forward to give you raw honey for the health benefit and other more benefits that you can now apply. Thank you for listening. Look out for more videos on nutrition and we'll give you information where we can. All the best. See you. Bye.